Hello, Mrs. Snyder here. I just wanted to show you how to create an interactive poster using Google Presentations. So you can use this for any subject that you're creating. Um, most likely in my class you're doing this for an English poster, but I'm going to use the topic here of pandemics. So what you would do is you would go to your drive, we would start there, and you would click on create, and you would click on, you would select presentation. Right? I already have one going, so once you do that and you have your blank screen, what you would start with is this very first slide. And you would want to go in and create that slide as a blank slide, so any beginning layout. Uh, when you choose your theme, I would definitely uh, choose the Simply Light or the, the white one, because um, it works best with this. And you would start with a, a plain white um, canvas there, and then you would insert a picture or an image. So what I did is I went to uh, Google Images and searched for a map of the world. And once I found it, I dragged that into my presentation. And you can of course resize it, doing all these various things that you can use the um, all the various different uh, poles here to resize it how, how you want it and get it to the size that you want. So this then becomes your poster. And then what you do as you create your other slides, all these other slides I've created here are the slides that contain the information that I would like to connect to this poster. So I'm going to show you what I mean before I show you how to do it. So I'm going to go up here and click on present. The um, interactive part can only work when you're in the present mode. But you'll notice that I've created this lovely poster at the top and so far I've only connected or linked one thing to it. So down here I want to talk about the H5N1 virus that was a pandemic at one point in time and as a person looking to interact with this poster if I want to find out more information about H5N1 I can click there and it takes me to the H5N1 slide that I created and then, I haven't linked this yet, but when I'm done learning about the H5N1 virus, then I could click this and go back to my original poster or my map. So that's how this works, and I'm going to show you how to create those links. So, let's say that um, I'm going to click here on my poster, and I want to insert a text box. And right over here, I would like to type out the word um, tuberculosis because that's my next pandemic that I'd like to talk about. Okay, and I'm just go like this. I think I'll make this a little smaller. Oops, too small. Um, right, and I'm also going to bold it because I want it to stand out. the spacing here. Okay, so now I've got the word tuberculosis there. Now I want to link it to another slide. So what I do is I go up here to lines, select a line, and click on the arrow, and I want to choose this thing called a polyline. Click on polyline, and I go near where I want to start drawing my line, and I click and drag. And when I get to the end of the word, I click again, and now I can, oops, did something wrong here. Mm. No. Nope. Hmm. Hold on. All right. Let's try this again. Takes practice, even for teachers. All right. So I go back to my line. I'm choosing polyline. So you click, and oh, I know you let go of the mouse clicker when you are done with your line and then you can draw down the next direction and you let go again and you click it again and you drag and then you let go of the clicker and now I'm going to finish my shape boom it doesn't have to be perfect at all hey but I do need to stop drawing okay so now it's there but notice now that it's covered my word so what I need to do is I click in the middle and I go up here to where it says fill color and I click on that and I choose transparent. So now that shape is transparent and I can see the word that I have there. 
And I also don't want the line, I don't want the box to show up. So I go over here to line color, click on that, and also click transparent. And then boom, you'll see that that box that I just drew has gone away. Now, if I click on this, and I go up here and I click on the link, insert a link, it gives me options. And I would like to link that word to a particular slide in this presentation, so I'll click there. And I'll scroll down and I want it to link to slide three, which I've already titled tuberculosis. So I'll click on that and I'll click on apply. And now watch what happens. Again, I have to go back up to present. And now I can and watch when I click here on tuberculosis, it takes me to the tuberculosis slide. And I can learn everything I need to learn about tuberculosis. By the way, these slides are not done. I would add more to this. And then I would finish linking these things so that when I click here at back to the map, it would actually take me back to the map. Okay, so that's how you set a link in and create. So this becomes your interactive poster and all of these components here down on the side become what these links link to. So in this particular assignment, you are going to you are going to be um, creating two posters. One poster is for the story by the waters of Babylon. And then the second poster that you'll create is for the story of the cold equations. So for the first story by the waters of Babylon, you will have a poster that represents the story by the waters of Babylon and then you will have links on that poster that will take me, when I go to read or look at your poster, to other slides you've created. And the first slide should be a slide that goes over how the story was effective in the, in, uh, the, by the Waters of Babylon written in the first person. What did the first person narration do for that story and create for that story and why did it make it work so well? And then there should be some other place on here that I click on your poster that will take me to another slide and it will give me information, it's you demonstrating your learning on why if that story was told in third person narration it would not have worked so well or explain what would have been lost. And you should do that with a mixture of graphics, images, could be video, could be audio recording of you talking, should be some writing, should definitely be a little bit multimedia. Okay, and then if you'd like, um, you could, you can either create two different presentations or just create um, another poster slide for um, the cold equations and do the same thing where you'd create other slides, one slide or more, you know, talking about why third person narration worked so well in by the in um, the cold equations, and then link that to your poster, and then also have a slide or two um, that is linked that shows what um, would have been lost, you know, if it were written in first person instead of third person in the cold equation. Um, and again, a mixture of graphics and writing. It could be video, it could be audio. Um, show me what you've got here, and by all means, reach out and ask for some help if you need it because this may be a new skill for some of you. Have fun with this. Good luck.